Do y'all want this figure? Then go on over to Chosen Prime where they can take good care of you, man. They got everything from Transformers, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever your heart desires. Follow that link down in the description and you can buy this Transformer as well. So just tell them that Deluxe sends you and you might actually get a virtual hug. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And today we'll be taking a look at Magic Square Pit Lord versus uh, New Age Famine. You know, like I said, I got this guy today. You know how to do a versus. Come on now, Magic Square versus uh, New Age. So we'll take a quick look at the boxes. Pit Lord is right here. Very nicely done. I like the artwork of this. Looks pretty good. Love the kind of the teal right there. It says Magic Square Pit Lord right there. Some stuff right there, him in alt mode, and so forth. And we've already seen this one. I've already, uh, you know, reviewed this guy. But here is uh, Famine, or they're both Nemesis Prime. So pretty cool. But yeah, there you go. There's the boxes. So let's take a quick look what they come with. All right. So on this side, you got Magic Square. On this side, you got New Age. With Magic Square, you get several types of uh, different hands. They do come on a sprue. You have to cut them off. Be careful. Uh, you get these all black plastic, get it kind of a cupping hand or fingers, kind of a grasping, if you want to call it. Uh, you get a saluting hand as well. Uh, you get a pointing finger right there. You get one with a fist and it open up so it hold the weapon. Um, you also get these jazz hands kind of ones. And you get this one too as well, which this comes apart. You have to put this in. I've been trying to get this in and it just won't go in. And it kind of just, you know gives you a chance to you know go like this you know so pretty cool uh he does come with a gun not painted but nicely sculpted looks like the uh, optimus prime he comes with an extra face sculpt which looks really good hope y'all can, can see that man nicely battle damaged the face plate and the black uh plastic part is damaged too as well got the nice red eyes silver for the head crest and the uh face plate so very nicely done. So that's cool. It comes with an extra head. He comes with a matrix. It is painted teal and copper. What's kind of, or copper gold kind of there going on? That is nice. And he comes with a axe, like always. And it is teal, nicely painted. I like that. And he comes with uh, extra smokestacks. And uh, these retract. <laughs> yeah, this one retracts. And you can take this out. Um, I ain't going to switch them out yet because I don't, I don't think I need to, but you can if you want to. But they're painted silver, so that's good. With uh, New Age, you get a cape. I love the cape. It does flare out. You get uh, two extra sets of hands with him. You get a pointing finger with him, you know, black plastic, and you get the jazz hands. You get his weapon, and but it has paint on it, a little silver right there. So you can tell the difference right there. This was a little bigger. Just like always, Magic Square is bigger than um, New Age. Love the sword he comes with. Nice translucent red, black plastic, and you get an ax with him, and it's nicely translucent red as well. So as far as accessories, <laughs> Kaus is a toss-up. I love that he comes with an extra head sculpt right there. I love the teal right there, you know, uh, but I do love the sword and I love the cape. So it's kind of a toss-up, but leaning a little bit over towards... Uh, a new age for me that's to me but yeah that's what they both come with all right and there they are there's magic square uh nemesis prime and here is a uh, new age uh, nemesis prime now he does have the matrix i forgot to mention that um it's inside i'll show that later and also with he also comes with the hitch now this he doesn't have anywhere to put it in uh bot mode so this does come apart or come off and they just tap in right there so neither one of them have a uh trailer um, he can carry the uh, Optimus Prime trailer, and I'm sure once Optimus Prime comes out for Magic Square, which I'm waiting for him, uh, this is the 2.0 version. Um, I'm, they may give, I'm sure he probably can carry the uh, trailer too as well. Later on down the line, they may, you know, give him a trailer, who knows. Uh, but yeah, anyways, here they are together. Look really good. Uh, about, he's a little taller, not much, and he is wider as well. He's a little more skinnier uh, than the new age one is. And here is a side profile. Looks very good. And then the back. Now he is longer. I'd say he is longer than uh, the uh, New Age. A little bit. About that much. Hope y'all can see that. So, 
Yeah, he is a little longer and a little taller, not much, but so yeah, there you go. We'll take a quick look at Match Square first. So he's got the nice red uh, windows. He got the nice silver for the uh, windshield wiper, silver right here, silver stripes right here, silver for the lights, nice teal right there, silver right there, and teal for the little lights up at the top too. So tons of paint, nice of paint, silver for that. Silver stripe right here, red, looks good. Rubber tires, they do come off, that's pretty cool. I like that, it's a nice little touch. I like rubber tires. Nice uh, for the uh, gas cans, I guess. They're painted silver. I wish I would have put in, painted the Reno silver, that would have been pretty cool. Then the back, like I said, you got the hitch right here. Little gap hitch right there. You can see that. On that side and underneath. So it looks pretty good. All right, we'll take a quick look at New Age. I've already shown this guy off, I've already reviewed him, but nicely translucent red for the uh, windows. Silver, silver stripe around here. He got uh, turquoise. Uh, it might be, is that turquoise or teal? Is it the same? Yeah, well, that might be teal too up here for the uh, lights up here. Silver, silver, no turquoise, uh, no uh, teal for the front right there, but once again, nicely painted. Now the black is painted with, uh, you know, Magic Square, you know, they've known, uh, been known for their kind of, uh, um, was it a mute kind of plastic? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I forgot what they're called. Um, but it's kind of, you know, kind of bland. It's got, it used to be really gummy. Uh, it's gotten better ever since their uh, Minasaur and their Constructicons have come out and their la their latest issues uh, have been coming out. Uh, their plastic has gotten better, but um, it's still got that kind of um, matte finish. That's what I was looking for the matte finish, but it's gotten better. The The plastic has gotten a lot better. But with uh, New Age, all this black right here is painted. It's got the silver for the rims. You got some teal right there. The smoke socks uh, are painted silver as well. You got these little back here, they're painted silver. No rubber tires, but that's cool. And he does have a hole right there where he can open up and he can uh, carry one of the trailers. And this is painted uh, gray right there too as well. And underneath right there so pretty cool so for me as far as alt mode i prefer new age i think it just i like the the paint uh the black you know paint and everything i like the plastic better than what they do I'm not saying i like i don't like magic square it's a nice truck mode as well looks good well painted both of them look really good either one would be good for your collection but for me i prefer new age there is magic square prowl you got wheelie and then you got new age i'm sorry not new age uh, Siege Red Alert for some scale. All right, I'm back from Transformation, and kind of got to give Transformation to New Age. I like it a lot better. Now, transforming him to truck is kind of a pain in the butt. Now, transforming back to bot mode is not that terrible. Once you do it a couple times, it gets a lot easier, but the first time is going to be a little pain in the butt because there's a lot of moving stuff especially in the, uh, you know, the, you know, the, uh, top area, a lot of stuff and there's not a lot of room. So you got to be careful, but, uh, both of them are fun, really transformations, but like I said, I prefer new age. Uh, but it's a lot easier, uh, but there you go. That's them together. It looks really good. Now new age is a little smaller than magic square. Not much, but you can tell he's a little taller. You got the nice chest. I love both head sculpts. They look really good. Got the nice red eyes. You can see that. You got the chest. All right. Moving down. There you go. We got the teal right there. Nice. Hey, legs. And here's side profiles. Okay. Like that. And then the backs. Which look pretty good too as well. All right, so we'll take a look at Magic Square since uh, we haven't looked at him very much. Now, here's the head sculpt. Now, to put on the other head, it is on a ball joint or ball peg. You just pop it off, and you can put the head sculpt in. All right, and he does have the matrix. Let's see, I'll open up this real quick. You can see the matrix in there. Looks good. Very nice. I love how they painted. They actually painted the silver and teal right in there, so that's a nice little touch. They didn't have to do that. I mean, you know, you hardly ever see that. Uh, but it looks good. Very nice. Now, with the hands, switching out the hands, kind of pain in the butt. You have to open this up like this right here. 
and you have to move this out of the way and you, they're all little ball pegs right here. You can see that and you got you just pop that off and you can switch out the hands and also switch out the, if you want to put the axle on it too as well. So, you know, with a uh, new age, you just have to pop them off. So it kind of, kind of not, you know, it's not terrible. It's not, you know, it's not really a pain in the ass, but you know, it's just, you have to do a couple more steps. There he is holding his gun. It is a big old gun. So there you go. So that's very, very nice. So take that off. All right. We'll go over them and we'll do some articulation. So you can look down. Nicely done. You can look up quite a bit. You side to side and a little attitude, not much. Once again, love that head sculpt. It's nicely silver. Silver for the head crest and beautiful red eyes. Looks really good. All right. So you can go all the way up to there. More than 90 degrees, which is good. You do have a butterfly. That is really nice. You can get a little more right there. So that is very nice. You got a nice butterfly. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right. You can go all the way around. That's very good. You got more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend, which is good. Bicep swivel, a little tight, but it's there. And you got a swivel of the hand. And hmm, a little up and down a little bit, not much, a little wiggle waggle. So that is very good. And like I said, switching out, I, I don't really know how to switch out the uh, smoke stacks if you want to. I think you have to open it back up, open it up and everything. I right, just painted, but I'm just going to leave those like that. So a nice chest, got the red teal all that stuff looks good waist swivel very nice ab crunch very good you got a back crunch too as well if you want to you know do some posing you can chomp 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 all right so with the van dam or with the leg split let me uh we have to get a something to pull that up there we go and there we go. So Van Dam all day, every day. Now I like this, how that goes with it instead of having to flip it up or anything like that. So that is very cool. You get a nice 90 degrees. Not much for the back. The booty flap gets in the way. So you don't have nothing there. You do got a thigh swivel, which is good. More than 90 degrees for the knee bend. Awesome. All this is painted. This is silver. The thighs are painted silver. The waist is painted silver. And you got that teal. So nicely painted, and you got silver right here and silver for the tip. All right, giggity. Um, you do got a toe tail up, toe tail down, and a nice little rocker too as well. And you got a toe tail, you know, the whole foot will do it, but you also got the toe will bend down too as well. So articulation is really good for this guy. And then you got the back, we'll see that. Looks good. Once again, all that's painted silver. Got some nice little sculpt work in there, a little bit in the legs. So not bad. So that is Magic Square. All right, bring in New Age. This is Famine, also known as Prime. Once again, love the head sculpt. Love that silver, red eyes. Looks really good. All right, so you gotta look down, look up quite a bit, side to side, and a little attitude. And he does have the matrix in here. I'll show you that. And this one is red and silver. I'm not painted inside, so Magic Square did a little better job doing that. All right, the arms, you can go all the way up to there, a little more than 90 degrees. All the way around, you got this little thing right here, this movement just because of transformation, if you want to use that. Uh, like I said, it goes all the way around. Um, a little more than 90 degrees, not much. I'd just probably I'd just give them 90 degrees. Bicep swivel and swivel the hand, like I said, you just pull that off. And switch out the hand, which is a little better than what Magic Square does. All right, waist swivel, ab crunch, very nice. And you do got a back crunch, Pac Man, bop, bop, bop. I love the translucent red right there. I like it better than the painted red on Magic Square. Okay, um, flip these out. And Van Dam all day, every day. Now, all this is painted right here his thighs, his waist, all that is painted just like the Magic Square. Uh, you have this, but you had to flip that up. I don't like that. I wish they would have cut that, but kick up, kick back a little more. Thigh swivel, nice knee bend. Uh, he has only a toe tail up, no toe tail down, but he does have a nice rocker. And this is painted right here, and you got the paint of the tip or the toe 
tip. Giggity. And there is the back. Looks good. Well, there you go. So that is articulation and sculpt work of Magic Square and New Age Nemesis Prime. Yeah, they both look really good. Oh, real quick, I forgot to show the weapons with uh, uh, New Age. There he is holding the sword. And you got the cape. You just plug it in. There's a little hole back there. You just plug that in there. And he can hold his gun too as well. And pop out his and his hand and you can put the axe. So easy peasy for the weapons for New Age. And real quick, there is uh, Magic Square Ultra Magnus. You got Mechanic Studios, Tiss McGee, Retgar. Then you got uh, Magic, I'm sorry, New Age, Mirage, and Megatron. Just for some scale for you. And crap gone, it's crappy toilet paper, some uh, pepper spray, Care Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks for more scale. Folks, that concludes my verses with Magic Square Nemesis Prime versus New Age uh, Nemesis Prime. Man, to tell you the truth, man, I like both of them. They're really good. If you want, I mean, if you want like a cartoon accurate, which I never, you know, I guess if you saw, you know, the War for Cybertron. Um, if you want a cartoon accurate one and then a toy accurate one, just like, you know, New Age would be toy accurate and then he would be Toon. I mean, you can get both of them. Uh, so, you know, alt modes look, both look really good. I kind of prefer, you know, the uh, toy version. Transformation, I give it to uh, New Age as well. This Magic Square is going to be a pain in the butt the first time, but once you do it a couple of times, it gets easier, so it's not that bad. Man, sculpt-wise, they both look really good. Paint, I mean, I got to give it a tie as well, man. There's a lot of paint. You got silver up here, the thighs, the waist right here. Same thing for him, all that stuff painted. I do like the translucent red on the New Age a little better than the painted windows, but but also love, love that they painted inside with the Matrix Chamber. That's, I mean, that's a little touch that you don't have to do, but they did that. New Age did not do that. Um, articulation, got to give it to Magic Square. He does have a, uh, you know, a, a, a butterfly and I love how the uh, the skirt goes with it instead of having just one flap like New Age does. Like I said, I kind of wish they would split that down the middle so it would have done better like that. But uh, articulation, definitely have to give it to Magic Square. Engineering, you know, both of them really fun. But like I said, the transformations are both. Uh, I, I gave it to New Age, but both engineering is really fun. You can sit down, you know, b uh, really great desk bots, you know, switch them back and forth. They're really fun. Um, materials, I didn't feel like it was going to break anything. They both have really good materials. Like I said, the plastic has gotten a lot better for Magic Square. Still has that matte finish kind of thing going on, but it's, 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 a, it's a lot better. It really is. Uh, accessories, kind of a tie. I love the cape and I love the sword and I do love the translucent red axe. Uh, the uh, turquoise or teal axe is really nice as well. Uh, you get tons of hands. I said, I, it was, you know, it's not a pain in the butt, but you had to do a little more steps to take the hands off instead of just pulling them off for there. So uh, just be aware of that. The gun, he has a big gun, uh, bigger than what uh, New Age does. But yeah, overall, like I said, I think you need both of them. Like I said, you can have a tune version and you can have a toy version. But if I had to pick one, uh, 
I would probably pick New Age. I'm always, I love New Age. That's, I just, you know, I prefer New Age over Magic Square. Still love Magic Square. I get everything they get, but I, I prefer New Age. But I really think you need both of them. They're both really great transformers. They look good. Uh, the paint wise, the articulation, they're really fun bots. I really do. So yeah, I hope you like that. Right. You know, like I said, it's just, it's great to have options, man. And, you know, Transformers, you know, you can have either one. And I, I think you'll be satisfied with either one. So hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Uh, hit me on some comments. Tell me which one you like better. Do you like the Magic Square or do you like the New Age? And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, verses. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell New Age and hell Magic Square. Just hell Transformers. And good night, folks.